Tony, please introduce yourself. Uh, Anthony Dickeries, manager, two family members, and statistics. Do you have a vocal family? Audio? To ask them questions. Just yes, talk. <clears throat> right. So, Anthony, you've been employed with the Sando Borough Corporation, Kwaito Kwaito. What year you worked with the corporation, and how did you in how did Pan happen to be on the corporation premises? Um, I've been working with the corporation until retirement. Uh, 1972. Um, in 1990, around 1990, there was a new city club. He came to the corporation, and he wanted to. He identified there was a, a, a dichotomy between the managing, the management workers, and <coughs> the daily paid workers of the corporation. So he wanted to implement some sporting and cultural programs that would bring both entities together on a on a environment outside of the, the workplace. Uh, as a result of that he started to promote uh, sports days out of that he had called for his team, developing football team, win ball team. Um, then for the cultural night, they wanted to have a program. And they called me and Kenry Khan. And who? Kenry Khan. He's, he's deceased? Or? Yeah, deceased. Okay. He got to me, both of us had a kind of relationship as staff people yeah. with the daily paid employees and we knew who were the footballers, who were the cricketers, yeah. So we were instrumental in coordinating these programs. Right? Mm -hmm. um, the CFAC wanted to have some fan presence. We said, well, we have fan players in the corporation. I was suggesting a fan shootout. Um, so we just supply some, you know, about two or three tenants. At that time, pan shootout was a thing in vogue. Okay. And Kenrick said, um, we go out with one pan here, pan side. And I said, oh, we go out with one pan side? We go out with another yard, we have a pan. He said, well, you get him in, and I go get the yard. As a consequence of that, he got more on pan here to cross the river, son. Right? And the city clerk, Give me authority on, on a morning with a vehicle <coughs> to pass around in the different wards and pick up players to play for this concert. Um, well, I had an association with, with Fortune Samson, who was the, the subsequent arranger, right, for that venture. Um, so <clears throat> I identified Fortune as the person I call Fortune. And we put, we put some tunes together. Had the concert, and had the concert. Um, one person, I don't remember his name now, yeah? He will come back to me. Jason Danawa. Jason Danawa? Yeah. From Navet? Yeah. He said, I put a $100 towards a. City Corp at a borrow steel van. And um all them and Marlene Ambrose. Okay. Second that too. So we came away from that concept with, with a a kind of um agreement that um we would do something towards having a steel van. Mm -hmm. But nothing happened really, um, administratively. I would talk to Miss Ambrose. Um, <clears throat> and you know, nothing was happening. 
beyond that too. So um, we were running some small goal in the Borea for um, <coughs> car park all evenings. And one of the players was going away. And we had a little get together, a little bus up shot, a little drink something. And that was seven o'clock, we see the crowd come down, <coughs> there was um, Mamadou Itimu was his name. He reversed it back to Keith Jackson, which was his original name. Alright? So he, uh, he came downstairs and fought in the line and started to talk. He started to talk about you know, the camaraderie and so on and things. So I said, well, you know, all this stuff we didn't know where we were talking about that because or well, you promise to do something about this TV and that thing I mean then she said um you never get a proposal from all you or well, you only asking questions everybody I meet meet me and ask me what about this TV and say all right try mm -hmm. do a proposal sent to him we the mayor at that time was um Ramishmutu who? Ramishmutu Okay. So he went to Mutu, they went to Council, um, um, all of my ambrose, um, moved the motion, <coughs> and they lend us $7,500. They didn't give us $7,500, they lend us $7,500. Right? Mm -hmm. That was big money in those days. Yeah, I, I took that money as a piece of money in my account, as a piece of my account before we, because we didn't have a, a committee, you know, treasurer, nothing at all, right? But as a, as a result of that, we were able because uh, my proposal was we have a tuner, a ranger, and we have players. The tuner is for tune. Right, so that money, we bought drums, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Fortune starts with tune. Well, I was surprised in a way when Fortune. Um, I'm quite right for you, so I can say no. Asking for payment for tuning the panels because I know my experience with panels. You bring whatever you could bring, I bring whatever I could bring, you know. Gratis. And we put it together <coughs> and we go with that. However, as time goes along and we get engagements, and because what happened now is that we started to get get engagements right mm -hmm. um go ahead yeah we started to get engagements and um the players now workers because most of them were casual workers started to fall away from the band so i do um then go to the city club, get an agreement to get some extra work for these workers to keep them because when I go and look for them, they say, but you mean get no work, you come and practice. Right? So we decided to get uh, extra employment for them. Right? I would make a list and carry it uh, on a rotation basis and so on to keep people inside. Then what happened now, these same people now started to go down the road, go down to the personal department, and make their own demands. So as a, as a result of that, I cut off that, that, that lifeline because people were more interested in looking for a casual roof than after the pain the pan. Mm. Right? So I cut that off and they feel away. As a result of that, Sam, the Fortune, the arranger, co-founder, co mm -hmm. the man that really the band was built on, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> I said, I will bring my children, right? And some youth we had before King Drew was always functioning, the other Sam used to come up and train people in King Drew, mm -hmm. right? So Aquil and a few friends, um, this was prior to any Sun City business and thing, right? Sam used to come up and train them in Pan on Sunday morning. 
to teach them and carry them down. And Sam brought <coughs> his gold children, right, which is um, his gold children and, and, and their father, Kava, was a beast player. You say you brought your children. How many children you had at that stage? Two. Abina and Aquil. And Aquil. And then Sunshine came in afterwards. Sunshine? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, arrived at Sunshine. The name. His life. His life. Yeah, I, I mean, everything I, I do is the same thing about mm -hmm. life, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you look at some Chinese, you see she has a little too. <clears throat> when the child said it's nice to see you, you know when the child, right? I'm not too sure. Yeah, but, but it's nice to... You the cut. Okay. Yeah, well, we... Right, so um, as a consequence of that, Ivan came. Core Ivan became youth. Right? Mm -hmm. It's from St. Martin. Um, Sam Gonchiren, which is three, and a friend. Right? And from there, we grew because at that time, bands of them practicing in San Luis only for Panorama. Mm -hmm. Right? And our idea from since then, because when I'm again involved there now, I started to look at uh, the fact that. Van Willen Panorama, and there are nothing which is still happening today. Right? Yeah. Okay. And when I look around, I see Sa um, Samaru Jets as the most successful steel band that was happening in the morning, and so on. And then the family band started? Right? And, and, and it's a small unit to it, you know? Yeah. And you have that whole overhead force. Mm -hmm. So we were more or less. We became a, a sort of concert in house band for weddings, christening, um, things like that. All we developed a repertoire where um, people we could play with, people conversing, and people could still dance, to, you know, in between. Um, and we were practicing inside the from From a band, we were practicing two days a week. Two hours from five to seven. We end up practicing four days a week, sometimes six days a week if we have something to do. Mm -hmm. And we were the only violence and panels practicing right through the year. Okay. And we still have maintained that until COVID. COVID? Mm -hmm. So it means you were always available to play out yeah. when required. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At one time we were, um, well, I guess. Now we are still one of the best performing steel side in Trinidad. And to be by extension. But I will always say the crew, the original crew with Aquila and Damian and Abina and um, Miguel Camps, Sule Bernard, that was one of the best and best kept secret in Pan in Trinidad yeah. that it had this bad band in San Luis. <laughs> but you know, San Fernando is a place um, on the whole is a sort of is a sort of <coughs> well the, the Panama syndrome as a whole had the, uh, and still have the whole pan concept now. Yeah. Right? So if you're going to Panama, you're in your band. If you're achieving nothing, if you're making a headway in Panama, you're in your band, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I see times we're ready to play, and people get in work, we're then going to scramble, play, get scrambled to get players, and hire them to play, to get a little four or five tune for a repertoire to play, where we have full repertoire and playing music. Can't get no work. And still happen today. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me 
What was the first tune you learned in Pan? Beautiful Dreamer. How'd that go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> apart from the steel pan or national instrument, do you play any other instrument? Well, I used to play the truth a little bit because <laughs> right kind so it's yeah. really Okay. Uh, we really were King's Road, Kaiso, Chef come about, and I heard me and Sam really hook up. Okay. Uh, not true pan, we really hook up true Kaiso in a way. Mm -hmm. Did your parents have any issue with your involvement in, in pan or one native, in one native like, instrument? No, I, I, I No. My old man is, uh, he had a course of a rain. Tattoo on his arm. <coughs> and and well, he identified that as being a member of Casablanca's mm -hmm. originally. Right? So, um, <coughs> when I fell into Pan, I was in problem. And at that time, I was going to call it me and um, Makano. Makano, who is the manager of. Um, Recently, he has this E70 pan program, but, but he was going for his organ since the years. Mm -hmm. We were both playing at sil silhouettes at one time, from Bombay Silhouettes. Right, right, right. As two co college boys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <coughs> that was somewhere in the 60s, somewhere. Which is the most famous? Which is which famous musician do you admire and why? The question is, is so why eh? Good. Because again, music is about life. And mm -hmm. uh, you can you get exposed to right? Um, and you can really as some people try to pitch in whole things. So I I I just take it as it come. Bradley is a master. When you talk into Pan, you talk about Pan. Jit Samaru is a master is only. My choice is Bradley. As the arranger the universe. You know what I mean? Mm. A lot of people might be jet, some people are smooth. Right? Because music is, is like taste, you know. It's like food, you know. It, ha, it looks like curry. It has a um, Hindu curry and it has a Muslim curry in it. It looks like the same flavor, right? Uh -huh. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Doubles. Look at doubles. You know, like right? WC and you know, like that, 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 you know, I'm not talking about Pan Man. Okay, let's talk about it. What what is your what what, what is your view about Pan Man? As as a person going around and interviewing people and so on. Generally, what is your view about the fraternity, the focus, and the concept Pan Man? But I think national media, whether it's TV, radio, or whatever, should be paying more attention to what we call Pan Month because this is not just Trinidad Pan Month, it's International yeah, Pan Month, right? Okay, and so it started right here in Trinidad and Tobago. So they will show more because respect than we. So, Pan Month. How long ago it was being played? I can't remember. I don't know. I can't recall. It's just a hollow, a, a hollow song, right? As you say, the onus is on whoever's in charge mm -hmm. to have an aggressive 
program towards making of the media, um, various companies, to even put out that acknowledgement, right? Um, you have acknowledgement of pan achievement profiles and bands, individual success stories from, from youths and so on, people all around the world who are making money off a pan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? As a motivational thing for young people, because we are the largest constituency of youth. The Steve and Fraternity and the largest constituency of youth. There is no support system there. Mm -hmm. There is no, there is no conversation about the national instrument. What is the Articles of Association? Is it legal or just still a hollow phrase? Right? Because I don't think it has been prorogued in Parliament. Right? Mm -hmm. And then what's the Articles of Association with the national players of the national instrument? Every time you hear some controversy come up about parenting and Panama must get money. Mm -hmm. Panama must get people. We're doing national service, eh? mm. right? We're doing national service. We have no national awards. They and wait. They wait till you're dead. Then to honor you. Pan, pan, pan is largely a Pungu thing. Mm. It's a community thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generically, right now, right? Because a Pungu thing, right? You know how hard it is because you have been a person into various community cultural initiatives as myself. You know how hard it is to get some Congo together and then to keep them together mm -hmm. for a year, hmm. two years, mm -hmm. three years, evolving an institution with no remuneration, no consideration. You understand? Mm -hmm. So in Pan Month, all these are things that, that the people who are in charge are supposed to be talking about. What about the security at 10 years Pan years? What's the status on that? Yeah. Status on that? What is, what is, what is the status on enhancing Pan as a, as a cool and somebody else doing right now? Right? On their own initiative. Right? Why we not, why we, we have not been focusing on the inequity. We born in the adversity. Every step of the way, nothing is too nothing is good enough. Everything should be less for the band. Or none, none at all for pan. Right? But do you remember there was a time when we had the pan in school program? We have a Panin school program still going on. No. It's when uh, the no. previous government changed it. Well, there's still Pan. There's some, I don't know how the program They call was. it some kind but, of... But whatever is happening, it's not happening properly because mm -hmm. it's a contract basis. Mm -hmm. It's not on... The Pan tutors are not um, on the staff at, at, under the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. right. Of culture? Yeah, of culture. Uh, well, we had a way teacher, right? Mm -hmm. So they're on a contract basis, which is on the rules of whoever, or whenever, or whatever. Right? We can have a, a, a proper concentrated developmental program which is based on data, which is based on a continuum of the flow of information <laughs> with, with regards to how the program's going and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. So Pan in School, just like in a, like Pan Month, mm -hmm. is a, just a sort of follow through, isn't it? It, it don't have the proper support systems. In place. No, like, there's no committal towards these things. Right? As I say, we born in the city. 
And today we're still in a good situation. Look at, I don't know how country may be going up with all this money they say we Right? But why it can't be written off? How much? How much? Check how much, how much money Kyle alone get. The airlines get written off within the last time. Right? Mm -hmm. Check businesses. Businesses are, 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 are assisting in performing under conditions conducive to the business. You have pioneers to just tax the roof, right? Tax with you, write off, underwriting, whatever they call it. Over the years, for various businesses, various companies, and so what can get? That is never have enough for pan. Yeah. And you can't pay pan man to panorama. Right? Again, from the market, you have a lack of visibility. What about flags and, and t shirts and masks and caps, merchandising for the month? You understand? and asking companies to, to take a dozen to their thing. What about mass, right? If everybody making mass and selling, <laughs> and you were pan month, you, you know, pan month 2002, right? Mm -hmm. It's not visible and, and, and there's, no, there's no audio or there's no visual in terms of pan month. Because essentially, there's a lack of vision or direction. Pan sti still have a mono, a mono vision and panorama. There is no focus on the pannier and the potential of the pannier as a community institution for development. Because that's what we are with limited resources. Take a um, life sport. Mm -hmm. How much money? How much money you could remember it because again? Life what? Mm -hmm. How much they use up? Mm -hmm. Can you remember it? For 40 million or something. Millions. Right, right. Yeah. For rental, for non existent uh, facilitators and tutors, mm -hmm. for non existent um, attendees, yeah. Yeah, for caterers. And we have Panyard and we have people. We have Panyard and we have people. Right? And, and Panyard functioning or doesn't function because of lack of incentives. So if you have people in, a, in the Panyards, why not put these incentives? Why not have stipend for people coming to learn to play Pan? Stipend for the person, the, the drill master who, or all the the ranger who is preparing the band, right? Yeah. Why not? Because pandas play, bands that are functioning during the year, they're actually playing for transport and for the, they're doing community service, right? And on top of that now, when Panama come around, but we are functioning, we are representing the fraternity for the whole year. Wake up some pan, wake up the pan and thing, wake up the stand, they get money, they, money, they, they hire the contract arranger, the contract players, mm. and leak me out of it because they're better equipped. Right? The fact is that. The people who carry the fraternity for the year, they get white out for the Panama, even, even the, 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 the sponsors and so on. They recognize all, all the winners, all the big bands, you know, yeah. the whole syndrome, mm -hmm. right? So there's no, no, no real focus on the steel band as it should be, because Panama is supposed to be functioning. With proper incentives, 
as we are best say, we put pan in school, we be school in pan. Put the courses in the yard. Yeah. You understand? Yes. We have a problem with management and so on in the fraternity. As evidenced by the the, na the national executives that have been representing over the years. We could have we need management training the client in the yard, account, basic accounts, the various things that, that revolves around the steel band. You know Donna the Kerry's claim? Yeah. She, uh, she said yes, he is dad's cousin. Would you believe this is the first time I'm seeing him? Always heard of him. Thanks. You could say hello to her if you want. I don't know, it's nice hearing from you. Why? Yeah. Which tunes do you look forward to during a playoff in, in those days? Uh, in them days, I didn't know which player I got to get to play. To play? <laughs> yeah, that's how I say it. So that is just it. Yeah, just to yeah, get yeah. a pick to play, mm. but to get a pick to go. Yeah. So if the, the man who is more proficient in the pan, mm -hmm. you take a air break, you take a air break. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can play this one, you play this one, you know what I mean? Play this one. To date, which has been your most memorable performance? No. I don't have that. You don't have that? You can't remember? No. You never play out in some place and people give you an anchor and you come back and it. Well, silhouettes, then we play, um, we play second to, um, to Cavaliers in, in Skinner Park. Somewhere, somewhere, I don't know. 60 something. Could be 67. Right? <clears throat> and you well of course you know how we go because people are always looking for underdogs to cut down the big the big guns. Mm. So the view in the park was hey you all beat cavaliers by the cheat all you. But that wasn't so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even the band everybody except myself if I was never a person like that. So you can really know that. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, that was a big thing. We went to town in the final. We had to play three tunes that year. It's Paris Bowling at his piece, a classic, which is a bomb, and a Panama tune. So maybe that was the most memorable thing. I had to play them three tunes in the final. What does Panorama mean to you? Panorama is unnecessary. People criticize the fact about Panorama um, and high school competition. That we're the only culture that competes. But even when no competition, <coughs> nobody would have recognized them Pan or high school today. Hmm. You understand? There's men competing among themselves and developing their art, developing their works. And it very recognized and it evolved. It take over people, as pan taking over people all over the world, like wherever pan take. You understand? <coughs> so. Outside of your own band, who is your favorite arranger? Just knighted, eh? 
Mm-hmm. Outside of Panama, it's a current use, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So generally, then you have young arrangers and things like that. I like for the, uh, <coughs> this guy from the Twins did with that for the other two in Panama. <coughs> My friend was a nice piece of music. But then what, what, what also happened with the plan is that all the lesser contributions, the good contributions of the lesser ones, do get played. You understand? We just keep playing the winners and, and the bands in focus. So in a way, you just keep getting erased. Every time you write yourself on the you get erased. Mm-hmm. You ever... I wonder if it's the last music you see ever. Or you the same time ever. You ever hear Sun City Skyfall? Skyfall. Could you break that down for the listeners? Um, Skyfall is the theme song for, for the wrong James Bond movie, mm-hmm. which I heard in took and reinterpreted into a classic piece. Okay. And we are the only band of us standing in the region in our world to see that. I never hear that tune play at all, and they have that, that festival recorded. <coughs> Oh, Makano, I was trying to remember is Michael Makano. Mm-hmm. I, I know your son could read music, but what about you? Could you read music and what percent of fellow panists can you read a score? Well, I don't know what percent of panists could read a score. Well, I, I can't read music. I, I understand. Um, <clears throat> I understand the basics. I never read it. Sit down to exercise it, you know, like um, you know, the notation, the position, the value, right? Rest, right? The application of rest. Um, but we didn't like, I didn't feel like key signatures and kind of like No codes. But it's, when I say it's there now, just to sit down and, and deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not important to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, have you made any radio or television appearances thus far? Well, you know, the longest while you have been trying to get me to speak. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, I'm a public person, I'm not a public person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Tell me about it. Well, I'm out there. Yeah. I'm out here mm-hmm. doing what I do. Yes. I'm just doing what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see that I, you know, I try to stay away from people looking at me or promoting what I do mm-hmm. or trying to get into my head about what I do. Mm-hmm. You see, I, you see the system, the media, operates is a representative is a whole representation of the system eh? the train and condi- they are train guns hmm. yeah <clears throat> I'm a person who really try to steal from the system because the system is the problem the system I, I travel to you twice, so once in government, to see in government, to see in um, um, media, every time, time, every 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 time, um, after the French Revolution, the whole Montesquieu, um, right? The whole conversation about should there be government, should there not be government, why there should be government, and how people should be governed, because people used to govern themselves before central government at one time. 
more, commu more communities, regions, and so on and things. So there, and um, <clears throat> you know, it was quite interesting, but I never really had a closure on that. But when I, when I look and see what happened, you know, government intervention in the life of man, and man slave to laws, laws are two of the system of the controlling people mm. of a whole in the main caste. Let me drop down. Okay. Look at sport. Most of the sporting disciplines have support system, funding and so on for training and development and so on. What for the parents? Inequality, this is a narrative we have to be, keep talking about. You understand? People is lump subvention to pan the Panama money. Panama money is Panama money, there is Panama, there is a festival. There is a festival that the fan helps bring in that money. The one off. You understand? So they have nothing really to do with money and pan <coughs> for the function it performs. Mm. Right? I don't, lack of vision, but we ourselves are the fertility. <coughs> Do we have a vision? We always say the band leaders seem to be just focused on Panama. Not aware or concerned about the potential of the Panyard, <coughs> what it means, and what it could mean to people. Local government, community development and culture, supposed to be having some sort of input into steel bands. To keep them functioning. Yeah. To keep incentives to keep people inside. Right? As I say, it's difficult just to get people together mm -hmm. and keep them together, especially in this yeah. money time. Karai Holder agrees with you. He says you're a man with great ideas, a, a thinker. Stay rising, brother. Thanks, guys. Right. So, let me get some national awards for, for steel band managers who have been functioning, functioning for five years, ten years, right? Where we can have national awards for people playing pan mm -hmm. over a certain period of time. Now all this is incentives to keep people in pan. Mm -hmm. Do recognition. Yeah. Now I, I personally am going to the president's house to receive my award. But people like that. And parents. Would you like to know that they can get a and they just sit down and they don't get a to the national world. And I'll talk about Steve and um, children. Pan month is the time to have children involved in Pan. Yeah. You should have the school Pan in Pan month. And you should have it in such a way where there's categories, classical, folk. And so, so yeah. there are three categories where people are qualifying and, you know, they're not necessarily just... But unfortunately, COVID will prevent that. Well, we, we, we have to have vision according to the Jamaican, right? We're talking vision here, or lack thereof, right? <laughs> and I'm not talking about this pan prosperity by line that we don't need and all this and selective management that we need ma I want to managers. 
a deceased comrade and politician when I say pan politician executive member to me right see we need to have a pan academy because we have a shortage so it's the same people recycling at the head of the executive all the time you say deceased could you call his name do you know it? he wouldn't hear he wouldn't have a problem with it Scooby Regis oh Scooby. Southern Marines and Scooby tell me okay. you say right we have that and that time he has had the big up with the agent um you guys see you need to with a yard we can house that yeah so if we have that we will train people and they're going to private private business so we can go to choose more people you understand? Yeah. And if they were in the private business, we have people in private who have some sort of empathy. When we write to them. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? But the, the whole thing is that we will have been producing people who are fit to take up managerial positions in Pantry and Bago. I'm not only getting in the populist <laughs> um, position in. Do you understand? Yeah. The works and vision, you need to look at that constitution and non-constitution, constitution as well as concerned. Because the problem with the same incumbent person, and I believe it was Arnold. Patrick. Yeah. It was because of autocracy, on, supposedly on behalf of Patrick, right? It came out to the media because she had no other source of recourse. The problem with Seret and Diaz, who was so, and that to be the same thing. Where did Seret feel offended or, or whatever? or sideline or whatever it was and had no recourse when it comes to the media because the executive via the president is authority on himself right? Mm -hmm. now bands are members the only problem bands will have is with country and people itself now how I write on country and people because I have a Problem with the only money from the first Panama we went to. And <clears throat> we ended up paying three people out of our pockets that they didn't pay, sent checks for. And since then, to know, I just get fed up. Right? <laughs> you know, bumps in the head, getting stupid talk. Right? No. Point B. We need to have a general council. <coughs> Which if we have issues, anybody have issues, the general yeah. council must be the final authority. Yes, mm -hmm. it must be the functional, functioning body. Mm -hmm. Carrying out the mandate, right? You bring you bring your, your, your projection and your program for the for the year to the general council. Mm -hmm. You approve it. Right? Or disapprove. Right? Yeah. You go back and revise, you come back again, like right? that. At the end of the year, you have a report on that. You lack in systems. But generally, the executive need a supervisory body. Right? You need to work to discipline and so on. But right in the pandemic, you can't even have the power to discipline people. Who are going to guard the guard? And then they say, well, the floor is the final authority. The floor is manipulated. If they go and study the British Constitution, they see they have the duty to it. It's the evolution of the people who are speak and represent them. Opposing interests are higher to be stopping from coming to Parliament to talk. Physically, yes, I can hire, but if you have to when you're inside parliament, they have people shouting you down. 
We need to look at all these things, the, the choices, and see how we can correct them, you know? Yeah. I don't feel that I have the prescription, but uh, as the brother indicated, I just think a little. And we, get, we need a little more thinking people. Right now, articulating what it is. We need to open campus for it, look. Watch this. We need this, you know, when I say we, still banning this, you know. Mm -hmm. Jersey, from Jersey, our industry. Right? Mm -hmm. No look for us. When you talk about Stensi, that's Stensi. Stensi, you need to learn this, you know, you're sad, sad. That's Stensi, that's it, that's it, that's it. Stensi, that's it, that's it. Right? We need this. Look how much we can take place inside that function and we can um, offer to receive any kind of value. When we suppose to be paid, we say to receive. We talk in time prosperity. So much more than six times and the hotel in the fraternity and so on. Right? So you can make me very good. So we have a ready market for doing it. I'm pretty good. So we are always good. We have a service company. So we have a regular interaction at 20 minutes. I'm going 
One more question. How do you balance your music with other obligation, obligations like your, your, your maid, your children, your job? When I balance them for you, I'm trying to tell you now, I will create a little bit of a thing for you. I'm trying to tell you that. Yeah. See, and then you you and how old were you when you first started playing fun? Seventy-two. Uh -huh. you, you are seventy-two now? Mm -hmm. Right? 
Questions on my sheet already. Uh, do you have anything else on yours? No, no, it's actually not about the fact that we need to have a narrative that talks about the inequality of the family. Right? So, from start to now, the kind of um, conditions that are allowed for business to function, the sort of court system for business, and the narrative in our talk, the entire thing. So this is a country where we have young people just lining on the block. If you had to say something to them, what would it be? I don't want to sound like I should say, check us in. And it will be safe. The Jagan Panya, Pisa Panya, have the things that they can. You understand? However, it's a good opportunity. The other thing is, it's very self-reliant. Fair internet. Those point to things that you're hearing or you're seeing, right? Or you're still trying to introspect. Find yourself inside. 
ビールはチャイズさんに焼いてあげますいただきます焼いてみますはい。